Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Alien Zombie Mega Death. This game normally retails for $5, but I got it as part of the Indie Royale April Fools bundle. As of this video's posting, you should still have a couple of days to check out the bundle, so head over to indieroyale.com right after this video. I see what I did there? Yeah, that's right. Alien Zombie Megadeth comes to us from Pom Pom, and it is essentially a sequel to the game Alien Zombie Death. That game was released on the iOS platform, and it was uh, basically the building blocks for this game. This is a platform shoot 'em up I suppose I would describe it as, initially. Uh, there are a series of platforms floating in space, and you jump on them, and you shoot things. And that's pretty much it. It isn't a platform game in the sense that you are adventuring through a level. You are in an enclosed arena, and you must fight off the alien zombie hordes who are bent on your death, or in this case, I suppose, mega death. As far as I know, Dave Mustaine was not indeed involved in this game. So let's take a look at the options we have here available to us. Multiplayer is local only. Achievements are in place. All of your Steam friends will see when you kill many zombies. And the option menu is adequate. The ability to change your resolution, turn off VSync, and uh, one simple graphical option. Not as uh, in-depth as it could be, but then again with this game you really don't need it given that its roots are on the iOS. So here we go. Let's get into the game. Here you can see this spiral, which is your level select screen. You can see I've made it up to level 14 at this time. And you will notice that occasionally levels have little branches that branch off. And that is one of the cool aspects of this game. When you meet the requirement, 15 medals required, you can unlock that level and get a slightly altered version of the level you just beat. It makes for some good replayability up to the point where you do everything. But uh, it really is an interesting concept and it's something that is really, really welcome and I'm glad that they have included it. One of the other things I want to draw your attention to is the very important ability to change the color of your spaceman just so that we don't get bored. I like this one because it looks like Bruce Lee's uh, outfit in, uh, what was that, Game of Death? Was that Game of Death? Anyway, the one where he's fighting up to the top of the tower. Yeah, that one. All right, so let's go with that spaceman. I like him, I like him. And uh, there's nothing more really to tell you. There's only to show you, and that is the gameplay. And again, this is a simple platform shooter, as I would call it. So here we go. Here's my spaceman. I can jump up and down, and I can shoot left and right. And I can kill aliens. And this is pretty much what you gotta do. Kill the aliens and collect these little uh, white, sort of crystalline, mineral-looking structures. That's your score. Very important. Adds to your score. Uh, so we are killing the aliens. We can get hit three times. You'll see a little man up in the corner. Uh, three little mans. You can see I've got a power-up here. The missile power-up. Homing missiles. Gotta love them. All right, and uh, you'll see there are some occasional places where I cannot uh, pass through. That's just to keep things interesting. Oh, let's slow down time. Lots of power-ups in this game, lots of interesting stuff. It's a very, uh, a very casual, friendly game. Uh, it does get difficult later on, but it's very, very friendly uh, to a casual player. And you can definitely see that it had its roots as an iOS title, most certainly. Oh, an achievement, five times multiplier, nice. And our little spaceman does a dance because he wasn't eaten alive by zombies. The graphical style you can see is is decent. It isn't. Uh, these graphics are not uh, off the charts amazing. Uh, they are obviously uh, iOS quality. I would say uh, maybe beefed up just a little bit for the PC. But uh, oh, I have a new spaceman costume. What is it? Oh my God! I can be a snowman. Wow. Okay, this game just got better. Boom, I am a snowman. <laughs> All right, so focus, focus. Uh, there are several game types that are present. The most uh, prevalent, the one that you're going to encounter the most often, is the one we just did, Firefight. But we also have other things like Dodge and Weave, where your uh, entire point is just to stay alive as long as you can, dodging stuff. And then there's my favorite, Space Baby Rescue, where you, yes, literally have to rescue space babies. And that's really not something that your brain can comprehend uh, completely, so I'm just going to show it to you. This is the simple introduction to the Space Baby Rescue. And I am a snowman. Oh my god, what a beautiful snowman I am. Okay, the little space babies need to be escorted to the safety of the escape pod. So let's do that. 
grab them. And when you are holding something like, for instance, a space baby, you shimmy in this very interesting way. As you can see, let's get the space baby to where he needs to be. And we've got to get a minimum number of space babies in order to complete the level. So let's, uh, oh, hey, we got enemies. Oh, yes, watch out. Alien zombies want to eat my space babies. Let's get that space baby over to the escape pod, yes. And that should do it. Maybe one more space baby, one more space baby. All right, let's save one more space baby and get out of space baby rescue. Again, as I said, you know, it's it's space baby rescue. Your your mind could not comprehend it. You thought, hey, it's going to be rescuing space babies, but then you thought, eh, that's a little weird. And then you saw it, and it was just it was in fact rescuing space babies. And I'm a snowman, so that makes it all the more better. <laughs> I'm a snowman rescuing space babies. Uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of a uh, of a pop up at the bottom there, letting me know that I had achieved a medal. You'll see that quite often. The medal I got there was just highlighted by that starburst. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a solid game. I mean, I have to say it's a simple concept, but it's a solid game. And this uh, altering of the of the gameplay, the occasional introduction of a different mode, really makes a huge difference. Similar to the Space Baby Rescue is the bomb dump, which uh, in which you have to secure a bomb and take it to a uh, disposal unit. Very similar to Space Baby Rescue, but uh, usually done more vertically. Uh, as opposed to horizontally, which is the Space Baby Rescue. Uh, dodge and Weave. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to see here? Let's do Dodge and Weave, yeah. Do Dodge and Weave, I like that. And I have not tried the uh, Level 4 Alpha, which I unlocked, so... Let's try... Let's just stick with this one. I don't want to embarrass myself. Here we go, Dodge and Weave. No alien zombies, just crystals to collect. So we want to collect crystals and live as long as we can. And this one feels a lot more like a traditional platform sort of adventure where you are just trying to survive. Okay. And very carefully dodging these giant red asteroids. And these crazy electric energy fence buzzsaws. I still can't get over the fact that I'm a snowman. I really just thought that it was going to be a lot of different... Um... E just couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. I thought it was just going to be a lot of different colors, but they uh, psyched me out there. They got me with a with an amazing snowman costume. Ah, oh, it's gone. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Give me something else. What? What can? What else? Can, where, where, okay. There. You'll see a little asterisk sort of thing over on the side of the screen, telling me where I need to go. That there is, in fact. A crystal cluster to collect and we're just gonna keep keep on keep it on until we do a dance and there we go snowman dancing lovely snowman fabulous top hat sort of a frosty esque snowman I suppose but then again aren't all living snowmen essentially frosty all right uh, let's see, see yeah I mean you pretty much seen the game in action it does get much more difficult and I can show you that uh, oh, boss attack. I have not indeed seen this. This is brand new. All right. Well, let's take a look at the boss battle, and then I think that will be uh, enough for Alien Zombie Megadeth. So here we go. Big, mean, and a little stupid. Grab crystals quickly as uh, and new ones will appear. All right. Oh, my lord. He's shooting at me. Okay. All right, well... He appears to have cloaked or something. Oh, of course he's going to have ads. Oh. Oh, I'm getting hit. This isn't good. Okay, he's turned into that weird egg thing again. Alright, concentrates, concentrates. Oh, lord. I only have one life left. Okay, that takes care of the boss. For now. Let's take care of these zombies. And I think we might do a dance. There it is. Booyah. Alright, well, that was a boss battle. That was interesting. Again, that's something to change it up. Just gives you something different to do. And you keep going forward in the game. You keep playing through the levels. Firefights, space baby rescues, bomb disposals, survivals, boss fights... 
it really has a good formula going here. I mean, is it the uh, the greatest game in the world? Is it going to redefine your understanding of gaming? No, but it is going to intrigue you with ooh, new space suits. It's going to intrigue you with this sort of gameplay. Uh, let's see, what is our new space suit this time around? I do wish it noted that. I think it's that one right there, that sort of teal greenish. Yeah, but of course, nothing's going to outdo the spaceman. So we're going to stick with him or the excuse me, the snowman spaceman. So we're going to stick with him. All right. I think that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I will pop into one more level here and uh, let you guys uh, watch me get embarrassed in this survival dodge and weave. And then we will uh, say goodbye. So here we go. This is going to end things up here. Weapon pickups only last a few seconds. Survival dodge and weave. No alien zombies, just crystals to collect. And this one looks like it's going to be much, much more difficult. I think I saw horizontal crazy energy buzz saws as well, so... Mm. It's, it's lulling me into a false sense of security right now. Okay, here come the giant red asteroids, and they are falling on my head. Alright, something else to collect. More, more, more. And you can see here, as I collect crystals, I fill that bar... And when I fill it completely, I get a modifier. Yeah, so that's the basic idea behind the scoring system. And uh, you have to constantly collect them in order to keep your modifier going. Oh, getting some cheeves. Always nice. Let's everybody know how good of a player you actually are. All right, crystals, crystals, crystals. I must have them. I must have them. Here we go. Haven't seen any of those horizontal energy buzz saws that I thought I saw in the preview pick, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, got some kind of a metal. And here come the crazy red asteroids. Oh, my lord, get down. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I got hit there. There is a bonus for not uh, losing any lives, so obviously I just lost that bonus. Oh, my god. And I nearly lost the game. All right. Survive, survive! Come on. Don't embarrass me in front of the people. Here come the horizontals. Okay. Now it's getting complicated. To a degree. Yeah. Okay. Alright, surviving, collecting crystals. You know, this game, I have to say, it's charmed me. It's not the best game in the world. Uh, it is a simple concept that they execute very, very well. And a lot of times that's all that you really need out of a game, is you need them to take their concept, whatever it may be, and just do it well. And uh, I think Pom Pom has really done that here. We're going to look at another Pom Pom game uh, next, which is uh, Astro Tripper. And uh, that is also a part of the Indie Royale. So a uh, bit of a pom-pom week here. Impromptu pom-pom week happening here on Big Davis Jeep. Oh, my lord, I'm backing myself into a corner. Not good, never good. Oh, goodness. If nothing else, this is making for some very tense gameplay, I gotta say. Is this the sort of thing that just lasts until I die? Is there a goal here? I mean, it is survival mode, so I guess that that is sort of the idea. But the other survival mode had an end to it, didn't it? All right, I don't recall. Oh, no, the yellow. You can't get past the yellow. <laughs> oh, good lord. I unlocked a new spacesuit. Yes! Oh, I do love unlocking new spacesuits. All right, so regardless, I got my I got my max score there. Let's take a quick look at our new spacesuit that we unlocked. What was it? <gasps> Santa Claus. Oh, man. Wonderful. This game just keeps getting better and better. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. My childlike glee is overflowing, so it's time to end the video. Alien Zombie Mega Death. It's a fun time. Pick it up as part of the Indie Royale April Fool's Bundle if you are so inclined. I have indeed had a good time with this game. I think I will be playing it a little bit more. All right, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.